On Sunday, November 18th, ASU Wrestling looked to beat number three Ohio State with a home match in Tempe. Ryan Milhoff would start things off for the Sun Devils, dominating with a win over Brady Coons of 18 to one, giving the Sun Devils an early lead of five to zero. But the Buckeyes would quickly regain the lead, winning their next four matches, making it 15 to five, heading into intermission. The junior Josh Fields would help ASU make its comeback with his amazing defense against Caleb Romero and using his takedowns to win by points 5-0, bringing ASU within seven points of Ohio State, making it 8-15. He would be followed by his teammate Zahid Valencia, who would not disappoint. It started off as a low-scoring match, but Zahid would keep the pressure on to Sean Campbell and show off his offense skills time and time again earning himself the victory 6-1 to one, to bring his team four points shy of Ohio State. It was now 15-11. to 11. It was now sophomore Cordell Nortfleet's turn to help his team take the lead over Ohio State. He would not only give momentum to his team, but the fans. Coming up huge with a pin, giving Agus to the lead over Ohio State. 17 to 15, but it would come down to the heavyweight Grady Daniel to try to give ASU the win. It would be a fight to the end, but Ohio State's Chase Singletary would silence the crowd, taking the victory three to one. The Buckeyes would beat the Devils 22 to 17. Coach Zeke Jones talks about where his team's confidence is after losing two close matches for the second consecutive day. And it lets them know exactly where they're at, but now they gotta step up. They gotta really step up and start to say, hey, you know, if I'm gonna be the best in the country, I've gotta compete against North Carolina and Ohio State every day. Reporting for Cronkite Sports, I'm Serena Perez.